Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh! Uh, joining me right now, he's got four shows on the air. Love it. <laughs> Richard Rawlings, Fast and Loud, Monday nights at 9 o'clock on Discovery. Welcome to my show, Richard. Well, thank you for having me. What's going on the show this season? Faster and I mean, you've got four shows, but let's talk about Fast and Loud. Fast and Loud? Oh, it, you know what? We just build cars and uh, have a good time doing it. I, I kind of look at it as a little bit of uh, of uh, giving back to the community because I'm taking these derelict, uh, rusted things that would have been uh, turned into Coke cans and bringing them back to life and putting them back out on the street. So Now, it's, are uh, these people that own these cars? No, no. This is uh, cars that we buy and we do. But, uh, Where do you find them? The interwebs. Uh, people send in letters, send in you know emails, y- you name it. Uh, I bought a car that just a second ago I was sitting out there on the couch. No way. Yeah. I bought a uh, 1974 Dodge Station Wagon. Holy shit. Yeah. That's got to be fun. It is. Because, you know, you're, 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 otherwise these things are just going to get destroyed. Right. And, uh, you know, turned into weird stuff. Have the, Obviously, this has been a passion for yours for how long? Since you were little? Pretty much since I was a teenager, I've been buying and selling cars. I mean, I've had jobs along the way, but and uh, about 2004 is when I decided to start Gas Monkey Garage. And then you are full on mechanic. You're not the mechanic, but you're the guy that's in charge. Yeah, I know how to mechanic, uh, but I've worked my way up to where I don't don't have to get my hands as dirty <laughs> anymore. Somebody else can do that. I, I My tool is now the pen. I, I, I keep the business in check. What was your first car you ever had? Uh, 1974 Mercury Comet. I cannot even remember that. Oh, no. it was well, You would probably remember it as a Maverick. It was the Mercury yes, version yes, yes, yes. of that. And uh, so, uh, interestingly enough, uh, this week I'm actually giving my high school car away. No way! Yes. Uh, we did a, a a big deal with uh, NBC, and we're giving that away on the Today Show. That's so neat. Yeah. I, I, my first car was a Caprice Classic. Oh, I know the Caprices. Yeah. That's yeah. a big car. Like a 70s Caprice? Uh-huh. That's a big car. I know. It's it like was, 22 feet long. I loved it. And my d- grandpa actually tried to convince me when I turned 16. He wanted me to give him, he was like, I'm going to sell you my car, and it's a green Cadillac, but it was one of those ones that are like... A hundred miles long. Remember those old, oh, yeah. old. But it was green. That's my it favorite color. It was green, color. and I was too embarrassed. I told him no. Well, that was the deal with my comet. It was green, and so uh, you know, when it came out in '74, I guess it was a popular color. But by '87 or '89, it wasn't very cool. It wasn't very cool. <laughs> and uh, my friends made fun of me uh, quite a bit. Um, you were actually before all this car stuff. You were a law enforcement officer. I was a police officer, firefighter, and medic before I was old enough to drink. <laughs> Holy shit, overachiever. I was a little bit of... My dad worked three jobs his whole life, and he told me, he goes, get a good job and stay there. He goes, don't, don't ever work like I do. And uh, so I just, I did. And then when I left, when I was around 26, it was one of the only times I've ever seen my dad cry. Uh, I mean, he literally thought I'd thrown my life away. Oh, no. Yeah. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I didn't have a job or anything. I was like, I don't know. I just think there's something else out there. That's fascinating that you were able to do that. There's so many people, I think, that wish they can pull the plug and just walk away. But obviously, we're young enough. Mm Mm-hmm. Did Dumb you know? enough. <laughs> yeah. I think we're all naive enough. I mean, I did the same thing. I was like, I'm quitting college to, to go start a career in Hollywood. My mom was like, no, you're going to be a porn star. I'm like, too late. I already post. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what happened to me. I, I quit and I, I bought a Jeep and I came out west and uh, I thought I'd stay on the on the west coast for, you know, a couple of weeks, clear my head, go back and whatever. I was gone for like six months and a lot of which I, I don't remember to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> got a got a tattoo at the old Easy Riders tattoo studio on uh, uh, on Melrose, and uh, off we go. What does your dad think now of you? Is he so proud? He is. He he is very proud. Uh, he he got to see a glimpse of it just before he slipped into full on dementia, and Alzheimer's. Mm. Not to bring up a bad subject, but you know it, it is a disease that we need to look look at. And I have a, a foundation called Gas Monkey Foundation, so we we're trying to help families that are dealing with the same stuff that I deal with. Uh, but it, you know, my biggest advice, and I, I'm not trying to get on a bandwagon, but if you have a family member doing that, don't try to change them. Don't try to say, oh, Dad, you know, don't you remember this? And, Dad, I can't believe you don't remember my name and everything. Jack with them. Have some fun. Take them to a ball game. It's like taking a six-year-old that's never been. You know, they're freaking out, you know. Or when they're like, hey, what would you get me for Christmas? Be like, oh, Dad, I bought you that new car and stuff. There's no new car because they can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> so you found the joy in it. Just have some fun with it because you can't change it. Not right now. Medically, you can't change it. And they're healthy. They're, they're you know, they're well taken care of. They just don't know what the hell's going on. Right. I mean, to me, it, it, it might actually be fun. I don't know. The only part that scares me about it is because I've known some people is when they get scared. That's, yes, that's that's terrible. I had a um a friend that had a mom, 
who wound up getting it young and she kept waking up forgetting that she she thought she forgot to do her homework Mm -hmm. and she was like 55 and she was like but I didn't do my homework and I was like oh my god I feel so bad yeah that's the hard part is is when they are scared they're scared it's for real it's it's uh it's it's a crazy what's the name of the foundation in case people want to gas monkey foundation now you have been married to the same woman twice I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> so what the hell happened there? Sounds interesting. Uh, you know, um, a great lady. Uh, she's definitely uh, my soulmate. And uh, when we, when I got into te- television, as you know, having celebrityism it can be a curse sometimes. Yep. And uh, so it was a little rough for her to handle. And uh, we ended up splitting up for a while and actually got a divorce. But we never could really get away from each other. And uh, so uh, long story short... About three years after we split, uh, we were in Cabo for a, a joint friend's uh, 50th birthday, and everybody, there was, you know, 50, 60 people there, and they're like, why do you two idiots get divorced? Why don't you just get remarried? So that afternoon, uh, through the, the help of all the ladies there, uh, we got married uh, at the office <laughs> in Cabo, you know, the office beach where you go. <laughs> Yeah, but that's an amazing story. Yeah. So we got married like uh, three hours later on the beach in uh, Cabo by uh, some guy that had his ordained thing through the internet. <laughs> How long ago was that? <clears throat> uh, that was probably, God, man, I don't know, uh, Like we're four kind- years back. Okay, so four years ago. Yeah, three or four years ago. And and it just got stuck. It was a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything's I jammed. That. I love hearing that second time around actually might work. Um, it, I don't know if it will for everybody. And uh, it's uh, it's like the, um, the the old man I asked one time. He's celebrating 50 years of marriage. I said, ah, what's the secret? He goes, we never wanted a divorce at the same time. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's actually it's pretty real. fucking genius, if you ask me. <laughs> Talking to Richard Rawlings, a show is called Fast and Loud, Monday nights, 9 o'clock on Discovery. Is your wife into cars, too? Uh, yeah, she actually drives a, a 68 Shelby GT350. Nice. Yeah, so that's her I fun I was looking up cars, time. ironically, last night. Just, I don't know. Oh, I know why. My son is turning 16, um, and he's like, I want a car. For- a Ferrari. He asked for a Lamborghini, by the way. Yes. I was like, I don't think that ice cream job you have is going to be paying for Lamborghini. <laughs> but um, he loves the color electric blue. He loves it. Mm-hmm. So um, he found one, and I couldn't find uh, I couldn't find it again. Like he sent it to me like six months ago, and it looked like a little Honda or Civic or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so I typed in like electric blue cars, thinking there's only one and. But this one and, came up, and I was like, oh, my God, I fucking love it so much. I don't know what it is. That is a 65 <laughs> Mustang Fastback. I mean, it's pretty, but probably not for a 16-year-old, right? Uh, you know, it's a great car if they know how to drive, but that's not going to have, you know, the power brakes and the airbags oh, and all the stuff. Oh, then that's not good. Yeah, no. yeah. I thought you were going to say you looked up electric blue hair. <laughs> No, I ate too many blueberries. That's what Dr. Hyman told me. Um, but what what is a... I mean, you probably don't know, but if you were going to get a 16-year-old a car, what's a great car for a 16-year-old right now? Realistically, for me, I get this question a lot, and, and I would say something around 7 to 10 years old, uh, four-door. You know, whether it's a Ford Taurus or an Accord or whatever. Why four-door? Um, insurance is cheaper. Oh, um, you can look at it two different ways. Uh, insurance is cheaper for the four-door, but... Uh, if you get them a two-seater or even a two-seater, then they're not the one that's carrying everybody around. Right. They're riding on somebody else. But right. then you can look at that as a bad... It's, it's a bad way anyway. Don't get him a car till he's 30. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he's going to be designated driver everywhere, so I feel like he's going to be the popular... He'll be more popular. I'm trying to get him, like... Get him a minivan. I, it'll be too big on turns. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm too scared of that. But I did find it's out... a minivan, not a max... Not, not the ones we had when we were kids. But I'm pretty sure like he... 12 people. I'm pretty sure, Richard, he'd lose every single friend, <laughs> including his girlfriend. He picked her up in a minivan. I don't honk, know. Honk. Uh, I mean, the Unless van Unless you pimped it out. Yeah, you pimped it out. You oh, know, right. water bed in the back, all that kind of stuff, like they used to in the 70s. Oh, my God. That would be so amazing. Oh, my God. That, don't tempt me. <laughs> I was always into the to, to the weird, different stuff. Uh, you know, whatever whatever was like people would look at and think, "Oh my God, that's that's so ugly." It's cool. That's what I always kind of really. Went yeah. Give me an example of what's so ugly. It's cool. Uh, well, like the '74 Dodge Station wagon I bought this morning <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, giant and brown and has fake brown paneling and what have you, but it's just got a cool look to it. So, God. Uh, you know, or uh, Good Times vans from the 70s, buying one of those. Right. With the waterbed and the heart shaped windows. and I don't remember those, actually. And then the, 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 what are those other bugs called? Those uh, Volkswagen. Oh, Volkswagen bug? Whew. That's, uh, 
That's a rough trees of transportation. They're 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 fun for about a week. Ah, forget it. Yeah. More like a Coachella let me hump you and Exactly. Um have you ever let your wife though be in charge of decorating a car or you're like, baby, it's all me. You can't do that. Uh yeah, she doesn't do that at all. I kind of got my own opinions there and uh she doesn't really care. She 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 takes uh takes my advice when it comes to the to the car situation and uh also in the cooking. She's not allowed in the kitchen. I do all the grocery shopping and all the cooking. What? Yeah, she gets to sit on the other side and drink wine. What? Sit at the bar, have wine. You really I'll make like you to cook? It. Yeah, I love it. So you actually do go to the grocery store and do the prep, or do you have somebody do it for you? I do all that. that that's what? actually one of the few times that I calm down. I can I can cook for hours. Okay, I tried that, and I got more frustrated and depressed, because <laughs> people come home and go, I'm not hungry. And I'm like, I just spent four hours in the grocery store, and then I just cooked a meal. Four hours? Did and you get I, lost? I don't. I had, I had to Google each item. I didn't know what vegetables look like. Sorry, oh, oh, I have a feeling you know what vegetables. Look I didn't like. know what a, I didn't know what a um, certain uh, pepper looked like. Uh, some hot pepper, hamachi or something. I don't even know. have an arrow. That's it. Yeah. See, I know the I know the produce aisle. <laughs> I think a hamachi is a car. I don't even know. I don't okay. even know if it's a word. <laughs> I think it's a Benihana place in our neighborhood. Hamachi. All right, I want to play which which would you rather with cars? Okay. Uh, okay. It's gonna get a little. It's gonna be cheesy but fun. Here we go. This is with Richard Rawlings. Which would you rather, Kit from Knight Rider? Or the DeLorean from Back to the Future? I've actually done both. Uh, <laughs> we built a kit uh, on the show, and I actually have owned a couple of DeLoreans. Shut up! Yeah, we built one. Was it so fun? It was, uh, it was, it was fun, but it was probably one of the shittiest movie cars ever. <laughs> right? I mean, of all the movie cars that are out there, the kit car is the worst. Why is that? I don't know. Okay, Maybe can... it's the Hasselhoff effect. <laughs> And I can say that because we work together. I love that guy. Oh, he doesn't care. The Hoff, I know. He loves making fun of himself. Okay, the General Lee from Dukes of Hazard or Trans Am from Smoking the Bandit? I had them both also. <laughs> uh, we picked. built a Trans Am on the show. Uh, probably the General Lee because uh, I haven't ever built one on the show yet. I'd like to build one. Nice. Yeah. How about the Ferrari from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh, I loved. Or the Ferrari from Magnum P.I.? Uh, I'll tell you why. The Ferrari from Magnum P.I. Because the Ferrari on Ferris Bueller's Day Off is not a real car. What? It's not a real Ferrari. You're kidding. It's a kit car. No. Yes. It's not real. What the hell does that mean? And It's girls just speak. what they happen to use. Now, it's it's up for sale right now on the interweb somewhere. I, I saw it uh, just a couple weeks ago. But, but it's not it's, a real car? It's it's a real car. It's just not a Ferrari. Okay. It's a, it's a made-up Ferrari. Wow. Yeah. So it's it's a very nice car, but it's you know if it was a real Ferrari, it'd be worth a few more commas. Right. <laughs> and they was, and considering they had to trash it, they, they didn't though. No, the car's in perfect shape. They didn't. The, that thing that went off the back was just a mock up. Oh, see how gullible I am. <laughs> I'm like the Ferrari. The budget must have been huge. Uh, the family truckster. We're playing. Which would you rather? The family truckster from National Lampoon's Family Vacation or Herbie the Love Bug? Family truckster all day long. Why? Because that was one of my favorite movies. Really? Yeah, for sure. I want to love that. Okay. Uh, the A-Team's black and red van. <laughs> or the Ghostbusters, uh, is it Ecto-1? It's Ecto-1. <laughs> uh, I would go with the A-Team vans. Much cooler. <laughs> That's what I should get and, for and Evan. You, and you can throw a couple of chicks in the back of a van, right? but throwing them in the back of the hearse might freak them out a little bit. <laughs> You know what, though? It, not if you were like in that goth. My sister was goth, and that's what she wanted as her first car. Is it hers? Yes. Excellent. I know. I'm like, oh, you think you're so cool. She was cool. I was a loser. You brought a bunch of swag for me, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Um, What is it? Gas monkey gear? You just have to open them and see. I don't even know. You, what do you mean eyes? you don't even know? Well, they're packed separately. There's oh, my God. Ones. They're so beautiful. Can people buy these things, One actually? of them has a... Uh, yeah, but... Uh, I like free shit. You'd have told me in my younger years. Oh, <gasps> you guys, they're actually, it's good looking stuff. That I would be giving uh, Jenny McCarthy some underwear. <laughs> oh my God, they're so they cool. Are, right Look at those little briefs. Spank okay, they're little briefs, and it says spank my monkey on the butt, and it actually has a uh, monkey on the crotch <laughs> with the tongue hanging out. Much like Miley Cyrus does, but tongue down, not tongue up. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> this is so cool. Here we go, I need this. I um, love it. And your socks are so cool. 
But this is a fun one, I think. We're going to need see. some glasses. What the hell? It's like Christmas. Oh, he's got alcohol. Tequila. Tequila. tequila okay, there. so you basically you branded everything. You branded everything just for fun? You know what's funny? I got a picture yesterday because we sell the tequila all over the world. And a friend of mine was at Neiman Marcus in Las Vegas, at, you know, and they have a bar. Yeah. And had gas monkey tequila. No way. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. I mean, does it, is it sold in stores anywhere? Oh, yeah. yeah. Every major liquor store, what have you, name it. Good uh, for fucking you, man. I can't complain. It's pretty good. You've done it. You're supposed to pop it up and we're supposed to have some. Shit, man. I'm not supposed to ingest anything. Let's go to commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> I um, let me let me wrap you up because I know we got to go. Richard Rawlings, thank you so much for this gas monkey gear. You guys check out Fast and Loud Monday nights at nine o'clock on Discovery. Any website? Anything else you want to plug? Oh, just gasmonkeygarage.com and uh, Fast and Loud on Monday nights. And right after that, uh, Garage Rehab coming up uh, all, all summer long. Thank you so much. Come thank back you. anytime. Yes, ma'am. We'll be right back, you guys. Don't go anywhere. Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh.